The hydration of this alkene will add an hydroxide group to one of the carbons and will add a hydrogen to the other carbon. How do we determine which carbon the hydroxide adds onto? We look at the substitution of the carbons. This carbon is bonded to three other carbons, so it's tertiary. This carbon here is bonded to two other carbons, so it's secondary. Markovnikov's rule will add the hydroxide to the more substituted carbon. So we'll do that. We'll add the hydroxide to the tertiary carbon, and we'll add the hydrogen to the secondary carbon. To name this molecule, we find the longest backbone possible. So it looks like the longest backbone will be six carbons. And you want to start at the end, which has the lowest numbers for substituted side groups. We look at what the side groups are. We have a methyl side group, and the main functional group, alcohol, is also a side group on carbon number one, two, three. This backbone has six carbons, so we so it's a hexane. But before we add the suffix ol, we need to indicate what position the alcohol is on. So it's on carbon three, so three all. Finally, we need to add the methyl group, which is on the third carbon. So this is three methyl hexane three all.